Howdy, I'm Brian. I'm Justin. And we're checking out the best parts of Austin here with Discovery VR. And when they say keep Austin weird, I'm 99% certain they mean this place. We are in suburbia. Family-friendly home, family-friendly home. And then we pull in here to see one of the most amazing structures I have ever borne witness to. <laughs> All right, let's check out the Cathedral of Junk. Ooh. Majestic. Ooh. Holy cow, the man himself, Vince, the creator of the Cathedral of Junk. Welcome. How long have you been working on this thing? Since 1989. Wow, and so how did it begin? With just one piece of junk and you're like, I feel like there's more here. It started just with a series of individual um, freestanding sculptures, which kind of eventually grew together. And then people started asking me, what do you call it? Aha! Once I got, it got a name, that's when it really got a life of its own. Let's, uh, let's check it out, Let's man. check it out, absolutely. Come on, man. So the first thing that strikes me, Vince, is the scale of this thing. I mean, it goes, how tall is that? Uh, it is uh, just under 30 feet. It's not actually as tall as it looks. It, really? It so it just, it, just, it just feels? It just feels that way. Yeah. Did you notice how you step down into this area and oh, yet you feel uplifted? Yeah. How often do you rotate out bits and pieces? I don't really rotate them out so much. I just kind of add to all the different areas. So how many people come to your backyard to witness this amazing work of art? Usually somewhere between two and 300 a week. So like this year, easily over 10,000, whatever. Wow. So people just hear about you, they find your address, and they're like, yeah, no, I got some stuff. Go ahead, got take it. Got some stuff. I got a uh, last uh, winter, I also got a, uh, um, a chainsaw blade and a $20 bill um, from <laughs> Anchorage, Alaska. Of course. Why wouldn't it no, be from Alaska? <laughs> Holy cow, is that one of the original Millennium Falcons from the 1970s? That's right. That, uh, do you get collectors freaking out? Like, like, what's that doing in the uh, rain? Yeah, they want to buy some of my stuff, but no, no, no. Really? Uh, yeah. How often does that happen? Not that often, but from time to time. And then some people are like, you know, like, suppose that's like worth 75 bucks or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. officially. Sure. Yeah. They'll be like, I'll give you, I'll give you 100 bucks. And it's like, you don't understand. Yeah, no, it's, it's worth it more than 100 bucks to me. Of course. Yeah. Dude, I love this place. I want to move in. What's amazing is the range of stuff he has here. Yeah, and how much of it had a real personal connection. Uh, everything from computer parts I hadn't seen in 10 years to stuff from my childhood. But in the same way, if you saw it in the trash, you feel sad. Here, you feel really happy that it's part of something bigger. Yeah, it's all found its forever home. You want to hit the road? Let's do it.